Kajin with 4 piece standing fury is really fun to play. Now I haven't finished my farm for the thundering fury. So in this clip, I'll be using some of them are pretty bad. Some of them are decent and I think the hourglass is pretty good. The other is just kind of meh. I'm even using a 4 star headpiece, so she might not be as strong if you take a look at the damage numbers. But anyway, that's not the point of this video, because what I want to show you is how fast her gameplay becomes when she's using 4 piece stunning fury. I chose this domain to show because the enemies are slimes, so it gives me less difficulty to proc the elemental reaction. Now this was my first run of trial with this 4 piece thundering fury set. And also it's not a very high level gameplay because I keep getting hit. Now if you take a look at this part over here, you can see that I've put down my E and then I went into burst and again E. After that, the cooldown is finished, so you can basically do a double E. So then how much faster is it? Now since the, it only procs once every 0.8 seconds and it reduces 1 second of cooldown, it's basically like halving your cooldown on the elemental skill. Damage wise, it's like doubling your elemental skill damage on top of the 40% electro related and the reaction damage. So it's not that bad in terms of damage. Like, for example, if you're using a 2 piece Thundering Fury and 2 piece Noblesse Oblige, you're losing out when you're not doing burst, right? That's why some people choose to use 2 piece Gladiator instead of 2 piece Noblesse Oblige. So in the next clip, I tried using Zhongli to smoothen my gameplay. Although there's still the cryo debuff, so it's a bit slower. Now the downside of this build is that it's quite hard to proc the electro reactions from Kajin because her normal attacks is faster and her burst is also a lot faster than other enabler. Most of the time, the only character that can help Kajin proc the reaction is Banty or Xinqiu but even with Xinqiu you cannot proc the burst because Xinqiu's ability is based on normal attacks. Now if I remember back in Battlefront Misty Dungeon the event with the free trial characters I was using Kajing and Diona and it kinda worked. The cooldown of my elemental skills was reduced quite a bit but it's not as effective as when you're fighting slimes like this. Now for my first try it looked pretty good because I was fighting slimes and this one I tried using Xinqiu on the wolf boss but it wasn't quite as good as I expected but it's still fun however the duration of the rain cutter blade if I remember it's 15 seconds so with Kaching I can only proc uh, around 3 or 4 elemental skills and that's it and that's without the burst so the usage with Xinqiu is kinda awkward, but I think Xinqiu is still pretty good for this. Another candidate for me is Ganyu's Q if you do have her, because she applies cryo pretty fast compared to for example Diona or Rosaria. I believe they apply cryo every 2 seconds. Xinyan also applies for 2 seconds, so that's out of the question. But then again, the reason I'm suggesting the 4 piece Thundering Fury is not because of the damage, it's more to the gameplay itself. It makes what Kaching Kaching, which is her agility. Her gameplay is very fast, and with 4 piece Thundering Fury, it's even faster. It allows you to have more elemental skill usage, which means you can teleport more, you can get more energy and then you can do more burst. For me personally, it's just really fun. It is also not a bad investment to have the 4 piece Thundering Fury. You can always use it for Bennett or main DPS Mona and also potentially good on Electro Traveler later on. What do you think? Thank you for watching. Please do check out my other videos. If you like this video, press like and subscribe for more content in the future. Good night and sweet dreams.